Hello, everybody. I got a question for you, an important question, and I got a special guest. Will Bitcoin, this is your prediction, Bitcoin by 2024, it's a million dollars. So, I have a special guest. Let me make a little intro. Uh, his name is Amith. He is from India, but he also lives here in LA. He is a business partner with Brock Pierce, who you saw on one of my earlier shows. And um, there's so much I could read about you. Blah, 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 da, 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 da. He's a Gemini. Um, <laughs> Block Street is his company. So basically, they're out there pulling in data on cryptocurrencies and the information is being purchased by funds and institutions and all kinds of stuff. So he's been around this game since what? What year? 2013. So 2013, extremely knowledgeable. Uh, like I said, business partners with Brock. Um, he's former director of marketing for Bitcoin IRA. So been seeing that angle. And uh, so we're gonna ask a lot of questions. Now we were just recording something crazy. I don't know if I'll share this with all of you. Some of you are on my special Bitcoin crypto mentorship, but we were just talking about blah, 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 blah. talking about coins he doesn't like, coins he does. But we were also talking about how to buy Bitcoin in the simplest way. You teach, how many people have you taught? A lot. Lots. <laughs> a lot. Lots. And one thing we were talking about is how to create a paper wallet, check it, a lot of people don't know how to buy this thing. Now, we're, we're gonna last... do this. What? No comments, nothing's coming yeah, through. Yeah, I'm gonna reset redo. Twitter. So, one of the things we're gonna talk about, because you guys should remember, when I had Jeremy Gardner on, did you hear this about um, the REP coin, Augur? Yeah. It's gone since we had the show. He was here Rep. last week. Rep. Rep. Rep has gone to a billion dollar company yeah. from 300 million. It's tripled. And I think just, what is it like? Jeremy Gardner is the only guy I know who can just be on the party circuit. And it's net worth doubles. <laughs> Triples. No, he's a great guy, though. Yeah, he's, he's spending a lot of time guy. on educating people and charity work. He's a great guy. Here, look here. We're going to reset. Twitter. Three, two, one. I'm not going to say it all. What's up, Twitter? What's up, Twitter? I got a meet here. One of the top Bitcoin experts, business partners with Brock Pierce. Block Street, we're talking about will. So let's start right here. Sure. What's your prediction about Bitcoin? Just good old fashioned Bitcoin, not even the altcoins. Good old fashioned Bitcoin. I believe the network will get stronger, the difficulty will get more difficult, and the price will eventually hit a million dollars. What year? What's your call? By 2024 at the latest. 2024. Yep. Now, you called Bitcoin to be at what? Uh, I called it to be in the press on CBS Market Watch. I called it to be 13.8K by Feb 2018. So you were a little too pessimistic. I was too, yes. <laughs> so you do what he does stuff for, uh, what is it, MSNBC India? CNBC India. CNBC India. So I'm going to be taking questions. We got a lot. I'm going to actually, we're going to do something fun, which is let's, we're going to send a address and see who's the first person who can steal the cryptocurrency. 20 bucks or something. And so basically, for those of you who don't know, if you ever give away your private key and your public key, then people can take your money. It's kind of like giving people your login to your Bank of America and they just wire themselves money. Or you can't give them your login, your password to PayPal or else they'll take your money. So we're gonna do a little test for those of you who are smart. All right, somebody say, so I wanna take some questions uh, and answers, but I want to ask you some questions first. Sure. So let's talk for a second and then later on I'm gonna open up the the Bitcoin crypto. Somebody had asked about Hashgraph. Hashgraph is not greater than Bitcoin, but Hashgraph is very 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 good. So whatever you're doing with Hashgraph, keep following those guys. We were talking about the favorite and least favorite coins. So I want to talk about, we'll talk a little bit about this. Those of you who are actually in the bit, my Bitcoin crypto uh, private mentorship is an eight week program. You, you guys can go watch the whole thing that we just did because we just did it for 40 minutes. We're not gonna do it all again, but. So let's just, let's be controversial right out the gate. One of the coins you said you don't, you're not as big a fan as everybody else is XRP Ripple. Right. Why? 
Because it's centrally managed. So it's basically like the US dollar or the Russian ruble or the Indian rupee. Um, the rules can change on you and it's got a corporate structure, which is not what Bitcoin is about, which is not what these tokens are about. They, and you can also, why people love it is because all the banks signed up to the Ripple platform, American Express being the most recent, and I used to work for them for 10 years, so I love that company. But the thing is, you don't need the token to use the platform, so why are you buying the token? If somebody can answer that question, then <laughs> I'd, be the, I'd, I'd be very happy. Gotcha. What about, okay. Somebody said not decentralized, not decentralized. For those of we got all levels, we got advanced people, we have beginners. Let me just be clear on this. First of all, what do you think about the fact that everybody has such an opinion, but most people, it's not based on fact. You have a, one of the biggest, you have one of the biggest companies that's actually pulling data from the whole internet on crypto. Is your, is, is Block Street the biggest? Uh. I think that we're bigger than people know we are. Yeah, um, biggest and the baddest. Yeah, we've got a lot of good data. I mean, people can have their opinions. Yeah. We love all opinions. Um, what I get annoyed about is when people are just being rude about their opinions or um, shushing out other opinions. It's Bitcoin and all these tokens, if they're decentralized, people have to share and most importantly, they have to learn um, because the knowledge should not be with five people, right? Right. You should really just keep spreading it. And if you learn something, teach someone else something. And that's how it works. Somebody said, do you recommend BitConnect? No, <laughs> BitConnect. Don't get him started on BitConnect. The academy teaches them The about academy BitConnect. knows it. The, the people in the private mentorship know this, but we're yeah. going to share this publicly too. We're not trying to hold back on you guys. BitConnect is the largest Ponzi scheme going on in the crypto world right now um, in front of everyone's eyes. And... It is. It's, I've been calling it since it was 25 bucks. It's like 430 bucks now. So, so it's with, a scam that's going up. Yeah. Are a lot of these coins, because some people say, oh, it's not just BitConnect. It's everything. Are they off base? Let's talk about just Bitcoin itself. Is Bitcoin a scam? People yeah. say, I mean, you see Jamie, you know, you see Jamie, uh, what's his name? Jamie, Jamie uh, Diamond. Diamond. And you see all these bankers. Are they just talking out their ass? They're obviously not dumb people. Do you think they're maliciously... I think with Jamie Dimon, I think he said that because his bank was trying to buy Bitcoin at the same time. Yeah, because those guys are doing crazy amount of blockchain crypto stuff. Yeah, they're in, they are invested <laughs> in digital asset holdings. Um, the CEO is a lady named Blythe Masters, who's a genius. She invented the credit derivative, what made the whole banks collapse in 2008. So she's getting into Bitcoin. So of course you got to be buying Bitcoin right now. Why Jamie Dimon said that, rumors has it he wanted to buy Bitcoin cheap, and it went down by 3K. So he was crashing the market so he could buy. Yeah, he can't do that anymore <laughs> now. Yeah, wh why is that? Because he, there's a lawsuit against him for doing that. Really? Yeah, in Europe, it's supposedly illegal to talk shit about an investment if you don't really know about it. Huh. And that's what's happening. So somebody in Europe taking the court in Europe? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so somebody said, what do you think's the best exchange? Uh, if you're an American, the best exchange is GX. G-D-A-X. Yep. Yep. It's also a Coinbase, so if you have a Coinbase wallet, you're automatically on GDAX. Well, what about to buy smaller coins? Other These... coins, altcoins, yeah. you know, they're, they're coming up out of the woodwork. It's funny because I used to only use Polo DX and I still use them, but now I'm using things like Liqui, L-I-Q-U-I. I'm using this new one, which I just signed up to two days ago to get some EOS, Binance. Yeah, Binance is becoming very popular. And it's working really well. Like, I've never had a withdrawal problem with them. I've never had a deposit problem with them. Their UX UI is okay. Like, I, I'm a big fan of Binance. It's probably the first place I would go to right now. A lot of people are loving Binance. Yeah. I generally stay away from Bitfinex because they're just really slow with everything. Yeah. Even though they used to be the biggest, I, I don't like um, Bitfinex. It's very slow. And U.S. citizens are not even allowed to be on there. Yeah. Binance, a lot of people. It's funny. Binance, baby. <laughs> um, GDAX insider trading bubble. Let's talk about this bubble thing. <laughs> so you're bullish on Bitcoin. Tell everyone why. Be why does Bitcoin need to succeed in your opinion? Bitcoin needs to succeed because um, we spend a lot of money on bombs and missiles and we kill a lot of people with our tax dollars. And we can only do that because we pay our taxes to the U.S. government and the U.S. government just bombs people and people like Raytheon and Boeing make money because they can print endless dollars. 
of a Bitcoin, you can't print endless dollars. Um, that's one reason. Another reason is, I mean, I've been working as a freelancer or an entrepreneur for the, almost the last 15 years. And I've been working with people in, God, last time I checked over like 42 countries, PayPaling them money, calling them on Skype, you know, um, using WhatsApp now. And it's weird, right? This guy lives in Africa or this person lives in India or this person lives in Germany and I'm paying them with US dollars and PayPal's taking fees and they're paying taxes in a different country but doing work for an American company. I mean, the whole thing, the whole system that we live in today was not meant for the way we live today. Yeah. Like right now, Ty's probably got people from all over the world watching this live feed, right? That was not possible 10 years ago. There are basically no more boundaries anymore with countries, so why the fuck are we using different currencies? And Bitcoin is one that no, co no country controls, so we can trust it, because I think 76 years is the longest, the strongest currency has been in power. So that's like coming up on the end of the US dollar. If it's not the US dollar, it's not gonna be the Chinese yuan. No one's gonna trust China. So it's gonna be Bitcoin. Yeah, so you see Bitcoin becoming the universal. I mean, I almost, it's obviously not a sovereign currency, but you see it becoming like that. Yeah, 100%. Someone said, Bitcoin is no doubt a bubble. It might last, but it will lose value. Twitter person. Here's said. what I have to say to that. Bitcoin goes up and down, up and down, up and down, but Bitcoin always goes up. So, yeah, it may crash. It may crash to 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. I don't care, but it's going to be a million dollars in 2024. I hope it goes to 4,000. I know. That would be amazing, yeah. right? I mean, people are trying to push the thing down. People That'd go, be... oh, people are trying to push it up. Like great. you were talking about Jamie Dimon. No one knows for sure, but people are trying to push it down. So people, all this bubble thing is, uh, most people that talk about the bubble don't know what they're talking about. I understand, but can you tell me about Litecoin? So for those of you, I'm going to be like the beginner voice, and Amit is the advanced voice here. So for those of you who are beginners, you need to understand that there's Bitcoin, there's Ether, and then you have, those are the big two, the most trading volume, the highest price, well, not necessarily the highest price, the price doesn't matter, it's like stocks, it's parity, but the largest market cap. Then you have other ones like Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, IOTA, and Ripple. You have a lot, and then you get these really small ones. We're gonna talk about one special coin that you need to know about. Okay, we're gonna to get to that in a little bit. This is a this is something new that you like. Litecoin isn't quite as big as Bitcoin, but it's pretty big. It's listed on Coinbase, so it has the Coinbase effect. What do you think about it? I think that's exactly what it has, the Coinbase effect. Yes. <laughs> so I think a lot of people are buying Litecoin because that's the only way they know how to buy coins. Um, people call Litecoin silver to Bitcoin's gold, but it's been around for almost what eight years now. And it's, but it's not a bad coin. Um, it's 360, 340 right now. Could it go to 1,000? 100% it could go to 1,000. Could it go to 2,000? 100%. Do I believe in the coin? No. Do I think Why do you not believe in it? Do you, Jeremy Gardner said the same thing. So we've got, by the way, for those of you listening, I don't want to interrupt you, but let me just say one important thing. For those of you listening or watching, um, the whole point of this is my mentor, Alan Nation, said, Ty, never be the first or the last to try a new idea and catch a trend. So I, I have not been in crypto nearly as long as you've been in it. But um, when I've decided and really analyzed it and done the research, I go all in. So what I've been doing this year is traveling around the world, spending a lot of money, flying, bringing my team because I got businesses. I probably spent 400 grand in the last, I don't know, six months just going to where really smart people are got my own podcast, Bitcoin Crypto, and I'm educating myself by bringing in the top mentors. That's how I learned to make money. That's how I learned the internet. So I'm doing the same thing with crypto. So I'm not really the expert here. I'm bringing in experts. I'm sharing publicly here what they're teaching me, and hopefully you get that value. And then I've got this private test group, this eight-week program that some of you will go into. But with that said, what is the reason so jeremy another mentor of mine doesn't love litecoin why not i think for me it comes down to the community so who are the developers behind litecoin 
You know, what are people talking? What are people saying about it? How many meetups are happening around the world with Litecoin? I just don't think Litecoin, it's more like a vitamin and Bitcoin's a painkiller. So I would much rather own the painkiller because they kind of both do the same thing. Yeah. I would buy Bitcoin Cash over Litecoin any day. Yeah, Bitcoin Cash, you think, and Bitcoin Cash, so let's talk about the owner or the, the founder of Bitcoin Cash versus, I mean, Litecoin, Charlie is Charlie, very yeah. well respected. Yeah. Everybody great says great things. Great guy. When it forked off of Bitcoin versus Bitcoin uh, Cash doing the same thing, do you think it didn't do it as well? Bitcoin Cash? No, Litecoin. I mean, that the underlying purpose of it is not as strong a use case as Bitcoin Cash. I mean, I think Litecoin is a huge success on its own, right? Yeah. Because it's uses script mining and it did something. It proved that there could be an altcoin. Yeah. Right? Do I think um, they were... I think Bitcoin Cash was successful because the world's largest miner launched it. Yeah. With Bitcoin Jesus. Yeah. Roger Ver. So, I mean, you have those two people. I would never bet against Jihan or Roger Ver, which is why I've never sold Bitcoin Cash because they're very smart. So, just like investing in, like, as a VC or Shark Tank, you're looking at the people driving the project, at their likelihood of success, more than just the name of the coin or the technology. You're also looking, you bet on winners. Yeah. And it's funny because I'm seeing these chats, right? People are throwing out names like Human IQ. Yeah. People are throwing out IOTA. Like they know some of these coins. Really oh, dude, I got all kinds of people. We, you're not even looking over here. There's four. You can't even keep up. That is awesome. <laughs> it's like, hard. I can't keep up. My eyes are like. A lot of Ripple fans here. Yeah, a lot of Ripple. We get IOTA people. Of course, Stellar. So Stellar was one that recommended with Jeremy. OX. See, this, this is a really good coin. Zero X. Yeah, Zero X. Yeah, great Zero X. We talked about that. By the way, some of you are missing out. Since the, you know my- Tron. That's also, that's a scam maybe. <laughs> we don't know. I own a shit ton of Tron, so I'm not complaining. Q, uh, EOS, we're gonna talk about EOS, of course. We gotta remember. EOS is good. A miss business partner is Brock, who's the co-founder of EOS. So this is funny, I did this show. Jeremy came on here. He was talking about Qtum. He was talking about OMG. He was talking about Zero X and all these. He was talking about Stellar. Uh, another buddy of mine came on and taught about Stellar. My brother was listening in the other room and was like, I'm gonna buy, I forget which it was, is it maybe Stellar. And he's like, I'm gonna buy. The next day he woke up and it had doubled and he's like all pissed. He's like, I shouldn't have been lazy. Yeah. So some of this stuff, do not sleep on this stuff. Somebody said, Trump coin. <laughs> so let's talk for a second how this is gonna, beyond just people making money. Making money is important, but it's not the only thing in life. How is cryptocurrency specifically and blo the blockchain going to help, for example, specific world problems like the education system, like poverty, like the unbanked, like people who are left out? The top 10 men in the world have more money than the bottom 3.5 billion. You're obviously doing a lot. You, you live part of the time in India. You're from Bangalore and I've been to India. You have tremendous differences. You have some of the wealthiest people in the world and you have some of the poor. Let's maybe start with talking about this coin that you're talking about in India. Is this to replace the rupee? Yeah, so like one of the reasons I got into Bitcoin was there's a lot of corruption in India and when you have land titles and you buy a piece of property, depending on what, what political party is in power, they're gonna take that piece of paper and say the property moves to the left by five feet, or property moves right by five feet. And it's like a constant jig in what's going on, right? So with Bitcoin, land titles on the blockchain yeah. is secured forever. So that latitude, that longitude, the whole survey. So it can't be can cheated. never be cheated. So not only that, like trust but verify. With anything, anything that we rely on an authority for. Right? Not doctors or you know, things like that. But a lot of times we, we go and use a service because we are going to trust that person to do their job right. When really we don't need that trust. Right. If we can verify that the job was done right, right we don't need the trust part and the price comes down. Yeah. So like perfect example is Uber, right? So when I was growing up, you know, mom's like, don't talk to strangers. 38 years later, sure, call a stranger, get in the car and drive home with them, right? right. 
So times have changed. But that's also because they're verified somewhat through a little right. Uber five star, one star. Don't they fire them if you get like, what is it? You get four stars, you're fired or something? Yeah, so like Uber verifies their drivers and they do that. But there is no reason that that whole system cannot yes. be done on a blockchain. Not right. necessarily Bitcoins. Maybe they use Ethereum. So maybe they use EOS. It might be EOS for it something might be EOS like as India for that fast. What's right? the name of the token that they're gonna they're thinking of in Internet, India? Internet dollar. Internet dollar. Yeah. It's based out of India. Based out of India. Do you know the team building it? I do know the team building. What are they in Bangalore? They are in Bombay. They're in Bombay. So Internet dollar is basically Mumbai. The, yeah the premise behind Internet dollar is activity mining. So. Any engagement that happens, whether it's you sending your Google Maps location when you're driving from one place to one place, or if you calling an Uber, it's a very um, invasive onto privacy, but it's done in a secure way. So basically, you're giving internet dollar everything when you're sleeping, when you're waking. Huh. Um, if, if they could measure your urine samples, they would do it. Is it gonna work? It's very ambitious, but it's going to create a treasure trove of data that is so valuable to people like you know people who sell cement people who sell paint people who sell clothes all of that data is going to be really 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 important yeah so somebody said we already talked about bitconnect so let's talk for a second about um somebody was asking here somebody said mexico is using bitcoin for the millennial market have you heard anything about joel elswaldo rodriguez have not heard that but i know countries like venezuela Trying to hedge against inflation. There's lots of things. Just listen there's to that. Me. There's that big store in, in Mexico, Metro. Like okay. It's like the Costco of Mexico. They, you can send Bitcoin to Metro and have family members pick up cash. There's over 100,000 companies using cryptocurrency. Right now in Los Angeles, you can go buy a Lamborghini at Orange County Lamborghini in Bitcoin. Elon Musk, probably not the dumbest guy, right? Maybe the smart, one of the smartest guys ever to walk the planet as an entrepreneur. You can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. So some people go, oh, what's the use for it? How do you value a coin that's just a supply and demand? It's obviously electronic, but they're not getting it. Gold has no real value. Very few of us go around and go, you know what makes my day great? Gold. I put on my gold slippers. I ate off my golden plate. No, gold holds value at, a, I think, $7 trillion global valuation for all the gold in the world because... It's in demand. It's been established that we agree that this is a medium of exchange. It's basically indestructible, doesn't degrade, and there's a limited amount of it, which Bitcoin basically meets all those criteria. Somebody was mentioning, but what about Bitcoin? They think it's a scam because of pump and dump, prices being inflated. How much do you think that's happening? Are there Illuminati people out there pushing the price up right now? Yes. And do you think that's why it's high? Yeah. The only reason I don't, it's high. I don't try to think too hard about it, but there are definitely syndicates of people who manipulate the price. Bitcoin is the most manipulated asset out there, I believe. But you're still a believer in buying it. Hundred percent, because it's very transparent. And so how do those go? But those you're only manipulating it for the better of the coin. So let's say it's at let's say seventeen grand. Yeah. What do you think the price would be if it wasn't for these syndicate of people pushing the price up? Would it be one dollar? No. Would it be in half? I don't necessarily say they're pushing it. I think it really is worth seventeen grand. Yeah. Right. I think that the syndicates or the whales step in at the right time. Right. You know, like let's say, if, like in a in a good way too. Like if Bitfinex gets hacked and everybody gets scared, oh my God, what's happening? Even though it has nothing to do with Bitcoin, but a huge exchange got hacked, the whales will step in and buy Bitcoin to keep it at a certain price. Make sense? Yes. Yeah, but that happens, by the way, in the stock market, too. Yeah. There's a lot of... Let's talk about it. Everybody says this crypto is a bubble. What about the stock and bond market right now? That's a huge bubble. And nobody talks about that. No, not does. enough. I mean, look, Berkshire Hathaway is... You know, I like Warren Buffett. He's, he's Berkshire Hathaway share is trading at $302,000 today. Right. Okay? So why do people get scared of a Bitcoin that's $17,000? It makes zero sense to me. And like you were talking about gold. Yeah, people buy gold. The majority of people who buy gold, they don't fucking use it. They're buying gold because it's a store of value. So yeah. clearly there's a need for a store of value. And Bitcoin's a better store of value than gold any day, any time, any place. Yeah, gold, yes. By the way, 
Let's do some of you coming. We got continually people coming in. I've got a myth here. He is a one of the top experts in just data. He owns Block Street. He's a business partner with Brock Pierce at Blockchain Capital, uh, co-founder of EOS, and and um, he was on the show earlier. A myth was re recommended by him to come on. When did you get in Bitcoin? Twenty what? Twenty thirteen. What was the price then? Um, I think I bought my first Bitcoin for forty two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but I and I actually I didn't even buy it. I settled up. It was a bar tab. A bar tab. It was a bar tab, and I took Bitcoin as payment. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, House, what do you think? Do you know much on Stellar? No, I don't actually know much about it. That's another thing about the Bitcoin. Even as long as I've been in the space, there are these huge billion dollar coins that I know nothing about. Like this Cardano, ADA. Yeah, Cardano. Everyone woke yeah. up, my WhatsApp, what, ADA, ADA. I didn't even know it existed. Yeah. IOTA, I missed that one. Stellar, I missed that. Um, the space is very Even huge. REP, but my, our, my friend Jeremy Gardner, Augur, when he was here on the show a week ago was at 300 million market cap. Now it just hit about a billion. Yeah. Billion dollar company. He's 25 years old. Someone says the best coin is Dash. Dash is a good coin. You like that? Tell me, what it's do you like about Dash? The community. Okay. So Dash is not going anywhere. Very active code, very um, active community. Um, What's its purpose? What's the, most of these coins, a lot of them are either protocol tokens or they are, you know, some kind of utility. What are they? What what do people need to know about Dash? I believe know? Dash is an anonymity based coin. Yeah. So you can not really show what address or what address it's right. going to from, which it has a place to be. I mean, it's great. And you were talking about, let's talk about EOS for a second. Your business partners, co-founder of EOS, biggest ICO in history. Why do you like EOS? EOS versus Ether. So I like EOS because of the team. Yep. Right? And specifically the chief tech officer, if that's what his title is, but Dan Larimer. Dan Larimer coded a blockchain called BitShares. I think it was up 300% this week, total coincidence. <laughs> but he coded a blockchain called BitShares and also Steemit. Um, he's had two blockchains. They're both very successful. They're both very, very, very fast. I believe the two fastest blockchains, but now Waves just came out, so I'm not sure. And after building two blockchains, he's got EOS. He's like, I'm going to build EOS, which is going to be the mother of all blockchains for computing, not store of value. Um, they're ahead of schedule with their tests. They've got a very good business team yeah. with Brock and Brendan Bloomer um, and some other people in the crypto space. And I believe they can execute. And I'm seeing it already. Like in India, in October, when I came back to LA for BlockCon, there was maybe 100 people going to the EOS meetups. When I went back, there was 562 in less than two weeks. Wow. So developers are definitely flocking to EOS, and that's going to make a coin successful. When it takes you 10 lines of code to do something versus 100 lines of code, right. least friction, right? Yeah. And people are already talking about ways to port apps from Ethereum to EOS. EOS is going to be faster, I know it, because I'm seeing some of the... Uh, yeah. So you think that, so right now, a lot of the ICOs, a lot of things are being built on top of the Ethereum network. You can see a lot of that move into EOS. I can see a lot of ICOs being done in EOS. Yeah. I see, I see a lot of tokens that have raised money on Ethereum. Yeah. With the, what they call ERC20 token with the hopes of launching their own blockchain. I would not be surprised if some of them start making announcements saying they're going to launch their coins on the EOS blockchain. Yeah. What do you think is better about EOS versus I think Ethereum? there's less politics. Okay. Ethereum's got a lot of politics um, and solidity. I mean, I'm not a coder, but I hear a lot of things about solidity, the coding language for Ethereum. I hear it's not as good. So that's one thing EOS is trying to improve. Um, look, there's room for Ethereum. There's room for EOS. There's room for uh, what's another one that's doing sort of wants to do this, Aeon, right? So there's room for all three of these, but I was telling Ty earlier, it's like Mac, right. Linux, and Windows, right? It's never just gonna be one, we don't ever want it to be one coin, um, but I believe EOS is going to be a top three coin very soon. Yeah, and you still are, somebody's asking, one best coin, you're still going with Bitcoin. 100%. And because it's the queen, uh, if Bitcoin needs to succeed, for everything to work. Bitcoin, in my opinion, and none of us are experts here, Bitcoin is the mother coin. 
it's binary, it either works or it doesn't. It's been working now for almost nine years, so um, I think that if Bitcoin fails, this whole entire thing falls apart. Do you think there's a possibility that this whole thing fails? I do not see a threat towards Bitcoin. I don't see a legitimate threat against Bitcoin. What is the biggest threat, if you had to say, here's the number one thing that can go wrong and everybody who bought Bitcoin now lost every penny, what would it be? Government intervention, the IRS, the SEC, the President of the United States, the you know United Nations, uh, master hackers from Eastern Europe or Asia or South America, like what, what is the thing? Quantum computing. Right, to be able to break things? To be able to break the passwords. So if quantum computing, which is going to become a reality, happens, you can brute force private keys and it's over. But I have a feeling we're gonna see that coming from miles away, that yes. well, it'll be like a flash alert, you know, protect yourself. It's right. not gonna be like one day quantum computing come and we all, we all lost everything. Won't there be like quantum hashing then or something like that? Exactly, there's, well, some new tech will come to Yes, yeah, so offset. Right? You know, if you look throughout history, whenever people make massive far off predictions of crashes, they're almost never right. I mean, in the late 1800s, the head of the US patent office said he had calculated that everything that could ever be invented had already been patented, so he didn't think he needed a job anymore. <laughs> in the like 1880s, before airplane, before electricity, we're laughing, like the stuff that's gonna come out. So yes, quantum computing, so that super hackers can come in. Right now, in order to hack a private key, it's basically impossible. It would take you 10 million years to do it, uh, if you were doing it, you know. If you had some computing power, maybe what, a thousand years? You can do it nonstop trying to get into someone's wallet. But with qu quantum computing, theoretically, it could be done in, you know, a day or something like that. But they'll, I mean, I'm sure they'll just come up with more complex ways of securing electronic coins. Right. So, Trezor or Nano? Talking about offline <coughs> hardware, storing off. I prefer Trezor. I use them both, but I prefer Trezor. Why? It's easier to set up. Yeah. Easier to set up. Good paper backup. Nice card. <laughs> feels good in my hand. All right, look, we're gonna try something right now. Where's his laptop? Do you mind sending five dollars? No, not at all. We're gonna show some of you a demonstration. This is what we just did. Fun fair. I like fun fair. Here we go. Okay, let's do it. Bring that little Get place, the stand. the stand. We're gonna show you something cool. We are gonna send some money to the first person who figures this out. How long do you think it'll take till somebody's gonna? steal this five dollars by the way for all of you who are buying your first bitcoin your first crypto if you have the private key if you have your own wallet or a wallet if you give that out we're going to show you what happens we're going to see how long it takes to steal five dollars someone says ty you're rocking all the legit bitcoin gurus gurus so you you're being called now you're legit, man. So the time that I sent it, it was $5. Now it's $4.89. <laughs> That's so the crypto the price reset. Of, price of Bitcoin went down. Yo, $5 I think going to do shit, but in 20 years, that $5 is going to be a lot So of we money. can show people. You can oh, show we, we, we got to do it a new one because we got to show the private key. Oh, we can do that. We're going to do a new one. So pay close attention. Wait a minute. Did we take a picture of that private key? No, we didn't. So can we do it over again? Let's walk people through a brand new wallet. Yeah, there is. Oh, it's here. Yeah. But so let's we're gonna show you a website. For those of you in my private group, the paid program, we did a whole step by step. We're gonna do this as much as we can right now to show you. Check this out. So we're gonna release, we're gonna show you what happens if you don't hide your private key. And we're gonna see how long it takes someone to steal this four dollars and eighty nine cents. Can somebody get the time? Whoever steals it first is the winner. Of four dollars and eighty nine cents. So right now I'm gonna start timing it. Okay. Oh, We're, no, just do a timer time. with oh. minutes. Okay. Minutes. Here I'm gonna do it. Okay. And we gotta bring that to show it, right? Oh yeah, I didn't know how you wanted to show. So it. hold on one second. You showing the public? And and this is the first time I've ever had someone steal Bitcoin. This is funny actually. Okay. <laughs> on purpose though. My record is not getting damaged. Here we go. Let's show it. You gotta bring it on here. Oh, let's see. We're, you're gonna have to just, and up. you're gonna have to bring it and hold it up here. Sure, I got it. Okay, make sure we're gonna show it to each of the live. How do we dim this? It's fancy. No, you can see it there. 
You can see it on Twitter. YouTube. Clear. Do okay. YouTube first. Cool. And then bring it closer to Twitter. If it's not gone already. Oh, oh, oh. Closer. There. If it's not gone already, someone's got to take a screenshot of it. Now, some of you won't know how to take this. For somebody who doesn't know, <laughs> for somebody who doesn't know, what, what are the smart people doing to steal this $5? So the smart people are probably taking a screenshot because he's moving his thing and then writing down this letter combo. Yep. And then they will take that and import it into an Electrum wallet. That's how I would do it. So he would do it with an Electrum wallet. He would import this number. And then what would happen? And then I would get that four dollars and eighty nine. Then you would take the four dollars. Okay. Somebody said. Somebody said, "Got it." Who got it? Done. Who, whoever got it, can they please? ZHD. Tweet? Let's see if it's gone. Go look in there. So all of this is publicly available. You can see the public wallet. Is it gone? Wait, where's the? Did we close it? there? See. So what you can do. Someone said IOTA is resistant to quantum. Somebody said no QR code. You don't have to have a QR code. You can just have the numbers. No, you don't need the QR code. Is it gone? Yeah, it's still there. Ah, no one took it yet. $4.89. By the way, that's just the value now if this thing goes up. So we're doing a test of all you powerful people who say that you can, you know. I didn't expect it to be gone that quick. I you didn't expect it to be gone that fast. I would be impressed if it was. Come on, what do we got? Still there. Still there. <laughs> Remember, you're not stealing because we're li willingly giving it totally. to you. Someone said, no, no way it's in your audit. Is there an index that tracks Bitcoin? Are you talking about, what are you talking about? Are you talking about like a website where you can track the prices? What do you use? What website's your favorite? Um, wherever I'm buying or selling at the time, so. I use Coinbase a lot. I use Preve if it's just for general. Yeah. P R E E V dot com. Very good one. We're talking about exchanges you like. Yeah. Here, 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 here's another thing. Like a little bit there, when, so when you're when you're when you're thinking about investing in a coin, um, there's a couple things you could do to find out what's happening. Go to Bitcoin Talk Forum. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk about. This is a master of a, this is, he owns a company called Block Street that basically amalgamates data on Bitcoin, crypto from around the world, scraping the whole internet. And so I've got a meet here. We're going to take advantage of it. Just giving you a lot of free, good info. Preve.com. What are you checking on Preve? Just price. Prices. Preve. So you're not using the big ones so like easy. market cap. No, or... it loads fast. It's easy. Because okay. you can actually like change the 0 0.002 and see the price. So Preve. Okay, these are some handy sites you should bookmark. What's another one you like for information and news? Uh, every day you should go to reddit.com forward slash r forward slash Bitcoin. Yeah, so you want to go to Reddit and the Bitcoin, okay? Bitcoin thread, um, Bitcoin talk forum. Bitcoin, is that dot com? Dot uh, org. And why do you like Bitcoin talk forum? Because this is where all the heroes are. So this is where Satoshi was originally. You can go back to like 2009 and see Satoshi's posts on the Bitcoin talk forum. Who was Satoshi? Satoshi Nakamoto. Who was he in your opinion? Is it Elon Musk? Is it the Illuminati? By the yeah, way, for those smart, of you. Very smart people like Jeremy and a lot of people that I know. And because yeah. I think it's the guy named Craig Wright. Yeah, Bitcoin Cash, right? I don't, he's an asshole, so I don't like to believe that it is him. <laughs> <laughs> but there's some credible. So you're not a big of, fan. I mean, I'm not. I just hope it's not him. I like okay. the idea of not knowing who it is. Okay. So there's a lot of. Uh, what Telegram groups do you like? There's an app that's similar to WhatsApp called Telegram. Yes. Any specific groups you want? You think people should join? Any coin that I'm investing in, I'm always in their Telegram group. So you got to join. So let's say you invest in EOS. You want to be in the EOS. Uh, Telegram. You're right. And put it on mute because lots of messages come yes. through. I have all my apps on mute. My WhatsApp's on mute. My Gmail's on. I, do not get notifications. My Instagram. I just passed 3 million Instagram followers. If you keep your notifications on, you lose your mind. So uh, let's talk. Oh, one little side note. Tell people right here in the camera what you think might happen to Mark Zuckerberg from crypto. Um, Facebook. So we all are giving all of our personal and private data to Facebook because he keeps it safe and sort of puts the rules around who can see what pictures and 
you know, what you can do with those pictures, but he owns all those pictures. It's only a matter of time before all of Facebook's features and functionality gets written on a blockchain and it's tokenized so that instead of Facebook making $30 yes. billion dollars a year, we as the users are going to make money. Steam already is Steam is already starting to that. do it. So that, yeah, basically instead of, you know, Mark Zuckerberg is worth over $60 billion at 32 years old. So, all right, what is another, any other place you like to go to? JT Tech, you are wrong. It's not too small to, tra to transfer. $4.89 is a lot of Bitcoin you could transfer on the blockchain. Yeah, people don't understand that. People yeah. go, oh, I can't buy Bitcoin because I don't have 15 or 20 grand. Yeah. You don't need 15 or 20 grand. You can, move, you can move three cents if you have the time and the patience. Yeah. Someone said, I just like hearing these numbers. <laughs> How can you buy? All right, so any other websites you like here? Probably EOS. Facebook will probably use EOS. These are what blockchain would they use, you think? Okay. <laughs> Telegram, Bitcoin Talk, Reddit. I think this is, this, okay, Reddit's important for Bitcoin. What about Steam? Steam it. Steam it's great. Yeah. So Steam it, each, each, each currency has their own thread. Um, popular posts float to the top. I'm probably not on Steam it as much as I should be, but I have been recently, and Steam it's really good. It's a good place. The only drawback I'd say with Steam it is you have a lot of people just doing uh, posts to get the coins, so like how to open wallets or yes. how to this wallets, but it's very good. Reddit, you get the discussion, which is why I like. Yeah. Um, there's also Fred Wilson, avc.com. I mean, he's a VC, but he's got really good thoughts on Bitcoin. Eric Voorhees, his Medium blog. Let's talk here. Hold on one second. So, Fred Wilson. Let's add this, by the way, Adrian, in this little section into the paid, gotcha. into the paid program. Too. Um, we didn't get to Andreas okay. Antonopoulos YouTube yes. videos. Like, this guy is... Elite. I'm not even going to try to spell this. Antonopoulos. He's also on uh, Twitter. Yeah. There's a lot on Twitter. Andreas Antonopoulos is like a key guy in the space. Um, and he's also very philosophical about it, right? So he'll tell you why Bitcoin's not going to fail. Uh, Roger Ver, definitely yeah. follow him on Twitter. He's very controversial. He's one of the guys buying Bitcoin Cash, originally called Bitcoin Jesus. Now people think he's a traitor. Why do they um, think he's a traitor? Because I don't think people, I don't think people like to see the Bitcoin brand being split. Right. But I think people don't also understand that the Bitcoin brand can be split 20 times over and still be worth a shit ton of Yes, money. for those of you who don't understand, the way Brock explained it to me is that forks, this is open source technology and sometimes the developers, the programmers, they don't necessarily agree, so they branch out and build their own coin. Light coins, like a soft fork, and you have Bitcoin Cash, and you have things that are breaking off, and he says it's evolution. And so he said evolution sometimes gets an inferior product, so to speak, and sometimes over time it becomes superior through the process of forking and evolution. Yeah. And forking also keeps make sure that the best tech is always out there. It's so easy to copy, you know, a few lines of code and make a new coin. Right. Um, people are gonna do it. Right. Man, is it somebody said trader, not a Jewish. <laughs> Bitcoin Cash will take the Bitcoin market cap. And so is everybody gonna make their own? No, it's not that simple. But let's talk about that. Well, let's talk about that. So just at a very high level, 30,000 feet above, all the coins are worth a half a bill, half a trillion dollars. Yeah. Okay, that's fucking nothing. Yeah. This is going to five trillion dollars. Yeah. So just think now, all the coins right now are only worth less than Apple. Right. Half a trillion dollars is nothing. This entire movement is going to five trillion. Talk to me then. Right. Remember, gold alone is a seven trillion dollar asset. And remember, people still forget this stuff has uses. There's already use cases. There's new utilities coming out. There's new protocols come out. They're being used. Yes, you need to register your EOS coins if you want them, but that needs to be done before June 2018. Why do you never talk about IOTA? We did talk about IOTA. I know, a lot of IOTA fans. People huh? love, dude, people love A lot IOTA. of IOTA. I don't know an IOTA. I don't know, I don't, I'm not down with it. I mean, I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I just don't know about it. Yeah. But a lot of fans there. One thing you can learn, you know, that that's important lesson is you don't have to be a know-it-all about every coin. 
Because the more you divide your brain power, the less mathematically, but no one's gonna know all 2,000 coins as well as if you focus on a handful of these tokens. So you're more of a fan of focusing on what you really know yeah. and really going deep. Yeah. As a point opposed to being like, I need to know about Dash, I owe a sense, Ripple, like everything. Remember, these are complicated things. Yeah, they're very complicated things. And if you're gonna buy a token, you should really know why you're buying it and what you should be looking out for because all tokens are volatile. I don't care if it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, all these 10Xers, 100Xers, they all go down 40 to 50%. And if you are, um, if you believe in the reason that you bought the coin, and if you know what you're looking for, you're not gonna get flinched and you're not gonna sell. If you just bought it because like the taxi driver told you to buy it, you're gonna lose <laughs> a lot of money. It's just like anything, real estate, business, the people who educate themselves do the best. Man, we're getting a ton. Yes, Bitcoin is the one to own, 100%. Let's see. All right, we're going to take three more questions because he's got to go. He's, he's lent a lot of time. We've been here before we went live recording. <clears throat> Let's just see here. Let's see. Did anyone steal it yet? Seeing if anyone stole this. If anyone screenshotted the page and stole the $4. Uh, it's gone. It's gone. Show it. Hold it up. All the haters. So it took 11 no, minutes. No, it's not the haters. It's no, no, the only people said that they couldn't do it. They oh, couldn't yeah. do it. It's not a real lie. Final line. balance. No, two transactions. One was money received for 484. By the way, this is a website that you like. Yeah. Uh, this is the, what is it, blockchain? Uh, dot info. Dot info. Okay. Two, $4.84 was received. And now there is a whopping $0. When did that happen? Let's see how many minutes. Ago. Yeah, let's see. Ten, roughly ten. Five fifty-one forty-three. Yeah, about ten minutes ago. Yep. Right. So good. Who did it? Who did we, it? We Someone did tweeted. It. Someone tweeted us. Who did it? It's Tron a Ponzi. I don't know if it's a Ponzi or not because it's a Chinese coin, and I met the guy, and I don't think he'd be the type of guy because I think you'll die. I think they'll kill you in China if you do a Ponzi like that. <laughs> so I don't think it's a Ponzi. Supposedly Jack Ma's protege. I own a lot of Tron disclaimer, uh, but I also don't know why I own it. You know, I just, just like, I don't know. Like I don't know why Tron is up eight thousand percent the last two weeks. Is that what is that? Yeah. God, what, let's see I don't. I don't know why Tron is doing that well. I think partly is because it's got a cool name. Yeah. You're like I got. It's got a great black website. Tron Labs. Tron. <laughs> Jack Ma Protege Alibaba. All right, Troy, Tron Market Cap. Okay. I bought Tron. Lots of Tron guys here. That's awesome. Holy crap. BitConnect is a scam. Yeah, what's it at right now? Well, it's down 23%. Look at the... It's got crazy market cap on it. Dude, it was like a top 15 coin yesterday. What the hell? <clears throat> you guys want to see something? Let me get the children. So I went to China in July and I met the Tron team. And his whole entire marketing strategy was hire Ukrainian models. Really? Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> they made us, they had like everyone come to their booth. Hey, this is America. People know that sexiness sells, boy. Well, in China, white girls sell. That's the truth. <laughs> so, I didn't say that. I said that. <laughs> okay, so they, oh, that's funny. That's the truth. Oh, that's great. Tron. Here's, here's the Tron girls. The Tron girls. So it was like, Billion dollars made by hiring some models. And that's Justin, the head of Tron. God, I hope it's not a scam. Because <laughs> you own a lot of coins. Well, not because I, I own enough what I can lose. I just, I feel bad, you know? <laughs> I just don't want to die. You don't want him to die. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Just remember, that would not be a good, you would probably be taken out. China will, do you see these guys, these Australian accountant who's accused of bringing one little little teeny bit of uh what was it uh crystal meth or, meth or something into malaysia or bali they're gonna they literally have them in shackles they're gonna shoot them horrible those countries don't mess around china like the i i interviewed lonzo ball the father of you know i mean i interviewed lavar ball and uh the dad of lonzo and and basically those boys got accused of stealing the Louis Vuitton sunglasses? Yeah, he was a Gucci or Louis Vuitton, and like, he got a little, he told me, Todd got on a feud with the President of the United States on Twitter. It wasn't really, 
a feud, but it was pretty interesting. Yes, BitConnect is. A what scary. do you think of Cardano? I know it's up a lot. It just, it's one of those things that came out of nowhere. I know. What do you think about ICOs in general? Do you think an entrepreneur listening should consider an ICO if they have something that can be put on the blockchain? If there's or, a reason to be on the blockchain, yes. But you don't think it's a bubble that's popped pretty much and it's, there's not the activity there was four months ago, six months ago, eight I, months ago? I think it's, as an investor, it's going to be tougher to make money on ICOs, but I see the ICO market continually You growing. see money still going into ICOs? Tons. I think venture capital will be over. That's yeah. going to happen through ICOs. Yeah. So you think the whole venture world of San Francisco, it's Silicon Valley is about to be tokenized. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to keep talking. He's got to go. I'm going to wish you a amazing day, Christmas. You going back to India? Uh, next week. So you guys heard here. I'm going to keep talking. I just going to say bye and I'll be back in three seconds. Well, I'll do it right here on camera. Hey, thanks Thank for you. having me. Thanks for donating the uh, $4 in, in no, 84 cents. No, in, in, I'm going to share some of the stuff he told me in a second. Um, but yeah. In five years, that's going to be like $5,000. Yeah, it might be five grand <laughs> in a few years. All right, let's keep talking here. I want to share with you. Um, you want to you you help him out? Yeah. Uh -huh. Or milk can. Or either one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thanks. So... Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, that was interesting. What was the most? Uh, let me go over some of the stuff for those of you that were here a second ago. Some of the stuff I've been talking to him about. Now, some of this is too much to put in this call because I got to go to in a few minutes. And I want to pretty much kind of summarize some stuff for you that he told me. So, what we did, he was teaching as one of the mentors in my Bitcoin crypto uh, mastermind. So some of you are in it. Tomorrow, those le tomorrow, the next day, these lessons will be released. Go watch them. They're extremely important. It's interesting, like when you learn stuff, if you wanna make money, go straight to the source. For example, Tron. He met with the owner of Tron. He's got the information straight from the source. It matters where you're getting your information from, okay? It matters. Uh, let me, somebody was asking me, where did he say what website he wants to pitch? Oh, it's, oh I read, it's um, You can just Google them. It's a, it. a myth near Gunarthi. It's a little tough of a name, but I'll put a link up later. It's uh, internetdollar.org. Yeah, internetdollar.org. You can go to. Hi. Someone said, Ty, if I only knew this. Oh, come say hello here. What is that? It's a baby gift. Here, bring it on. What is it? Uh, my cousin's here bringing somebody a gift. Who's this gift for? It's for my friend's baby. Okay. Well, I was gonna just carry it to my car. I wasn't planning on bringing it what on the that? call. What is that? It looks like a full size uh, baby. It's a full, it Box. is a baby. It's actually a baby. And <laughs> I'm giving it so she can have two babies. You want me to show it on the thing? It's, what is it? It's just oh. like a, it's like a lot of baby stuff. Like Why is it such a big stuff. box? Make it seem like sure. she got more. Yeah. <laughs> That's like what you do on Christmas. Book. By the way, Ty, I invited Kenneth and his friends for Christmas, and they're going to come. So. Oh, they're going to still be in Vegas? People. In San Diego? Mm -hmm. We're going to see my grandma, I think, for Christmas. We yeah. have the same grandma because we're related. Cousin. And people say we look alike, and I get offended. Really? Yeah. I don't think we look alike. I don't think so either, right, Adrian? We, no, we do not look I don't alike. see it. No. By the way, we're... Uh, how did, did you guys get a lot done? Yeah, so I finished. Is charity. he still in there or is he gone? He's just finished. Um, no, he, there's just a little bit left. Right. For what he was I'll saying. keep working. I finished. Okay. Definitely look alike. Okay. Both cute. Thanks. <laughs> we look alike? No. They don't. Yes, you look alike. We need a poll. <laughs> Bye. What was don't type into Google about Ty? Oh, so I don't. So I just recorded an hour with a myth, a myth for the actual. Crypto Mastermind, so it's a paid program. I'm gonna put a link in a second. A lot of you should get into it. Trust me. People are like, Ty, are you a crypto expert? Why are you launching a program? I'm not the teacher. I'm bringing literally the smartest people, the top people. Like a myth was recommended from Brock Pierce, who's the chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation, right? These are like, these are like what you call whales. People who have, I don't know if it's a billion dollars, but a lot. 
And so they've also been in the game for a long time. So I'm taking all the info they, they teach me and a handful of you, if you wanna go through an eight week program, like basically you just need a phone or a laptop and internet, I'll take you through for eight weeks, step by step, what you need to know. And I'm, we're giving you time sensitive information. Last week we were giving away info uh, to the people in the, in the paid program. And like I told you, go look at what happened to Qtum. Go look at what the RAP rep. This stuff's time sensitive. RAP reps gone tripled. Now a lot of things are going up, but I brought in the founder of these things so you can learn. If you're getting your news from MSNBC, you're from the news app on your phone, from Twitter, from, you know, God help you if you're getting it from mainstream me media, you're always gonna be two months behind. That's how the game goes. So do you always wanna be two months behind? In this game, things are moving day to day. So you need to know what you're doing. So one of the things we were talking about, if you're a beginner, we were talking about, you know, how to set up your first paper wallet, which means you become your own bank vault. You actually own the stuff yourself. How to set it up, how to do it very simply, because it's complicated for most people. We were talking about, oh, a website that you can go to and you can create a wallet. And he was saying, for security's sake, don't type it into Google. Google, Facebook, Apple, they're all looking at you, boy. They're looking at through, through their computer. Who knows, maybe the government's spying right through it. Nobody knows. So we were talking about double checking, say HTTPS, blah, blah, blah. So this is a website you can use, bitaddress.org. It's just one he uses. So, yeah, these guys are smart. These guys are smart. Someone said not even a Taylor jacket. What do you mean? This is this is Taylor right here. This is from Italy. This is that. Uh, let me find the. This is Etro. It's an Italian brand. All right. Um, what's with the painting in the background? One eye worship. No, that's a a, a guy out of uh, Brooklyn. So I collect art a little bit. So he's an up and coming guy. Awesome stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put a link for those of you who wanna get in the private test group, eight weeks. I would recommend, I'm not just saying this because it's a program that I'm building. This is the exact same info that I'm being taught by these guys offline. I'm trying to put a lot of it. Some of the people teaching me will not come online. They won't come on the program. Okay. Hey, what is Paul? What about Paul now? Okay, they've been doing it or just started? No, before. Okay. And um, so some of these guys won't come on even in the program. Some of them are co-founders of the Bitcoin. They'll teach me stuff privately. I'm trying to give them away as much stuff. I got the no number one crypto podcast in the world. I just launched it. It shot up. Thank you, all of you who have been, uh, you know, subscribing. And But I want to – look, this is how it goes. You get a lot of info. It's a little confusing. A lot of you can do it on your own, but some of you want a step-by-step -step process that you can trust. These are the people I'm trusting my finance, my financial future in crypto with, okay? So if you want to learn from the same people teaching me, I decided to do a test group. I decided to charge money for it, partly because I'm giving away a lot of stuff for free, but I don't want too many people in it. We have a private Facebook group. I don't want to have, if I do it for free, literally on this call, between YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and my live stream on my website, it's gonna be seen by hundreds of thousands, maybe a millions of people. Well, actually, I released a video this weekend. The two of them have gotten three million views. So if I just do a test group you can get into for free, three million people will get in. And honestly, you can't help three million people. So it's got a 60 day refund. It's a 60 day program. Um, I'll show you some of the stuff uh, but you know, I don't want to hard sell you. This isn't a hard sell. This is just like, I just, I was just talking to my office today. And I was like, you know what? Some people get it in life and some people don't. Let's forget just Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Cause like, you know, I, I've made money in many different areas. Okay. You know, I, I own cryptocurrencies. I own Bitcoin. I own different things. Um, but I made money in many things, business and in real estate and investments and in, in trading and things like this, some more than others. But here's the crazy thing. That's not what makes you money. That's not what makes you successful. What makes you is getting it. 
I call it the worth a damn factor. A lot of people in this world just ain't worth a damn. They were not equipped with the things they needed from the public school system, private school, for undergrad, bachelor degree, even PhDs, people coming out knowing nothing. My whole point of doing this is to create a counterculture movement of people who wanna get it on their own and they, the best way you learn is by top mentors who have done it. So, like I said, a myth here has been in Bitcoin since it was 2013, $70 he was getting in. You can learn a lot from somebody. He owns one of the biggest digital uh, data websites. So they basically conglomerate data from all around the world for hedge funds, for crypto funds, all that kind of stuff. So, what's up? Restarting. Oh, we had to restart. So anyway, I'm gonna put a little link up. So this is an eight week mastermind. I'll actually just draw it right here. So here's you today. If you get in, this is how it works. I don't know what that is. All right, so it's eight weeks. <laughs> You're gonna get a special email and password. Don't share this. If you share it, it locks you out. You're gonna get a members only website. Log in. I recommend 15 to 20 minutes a day. You can listen to audio or video. You choose. Then, so boom, 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 boom. There's a private Facebook group where you can ask questions. I got different mentors pop in there. Now they're not there every minute of the day, but I'm like, do me a favor, you know, answer some questions for people. So they pop in there. We've got an optional Telegram group if you wanna get in. You're gonna be learning. For those of you who are beginners, there's basics. For those of you who are more advanced, you can skip the basic stuff and you can move to the medium and advanced stuff. This is taught by people, for example, Brock Pierce. Jeremy Gardner was just here teaching. I asked him favors, will you teach? <laughs> Jeremy Gardner, God knows how much money he's made by 25 in crypto. God knows, it could be an insane number. But you're learning from good people. We got advanced stuff, you go in, and here's the deal. If it doesn't work during the whole eight weeks, if you don't like it, if you feel like you could have learned that somewhere else, I'll give you a 100% money back guarantee. You know, don't abuse it. If it helped you, don't ask for a refund. But if you thought it sucked, get a refund. It's pretty, 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 pretty simple. Now, what you're gonna learn, oh, we got a nice little flashy thing. Can you bring that over here? Adrian put up a nice thing. I'll just go through some of the stuff that you're gonna learn. But we're gonna talk about the fundamentals if you've never bought cryptocurrencies. If you're advanced, you can skip this stuff. We'll talk about buy, sell, and trading coins. He was just here telling me three coins. One, you probably haven't heard of yet. It's brand new, but he likes it. A myth I'm talking about, a myth. Talking about investor strategies, we'll be talking about ICOs, we'll be talking about the blockchain technology behind it all. So let me just break this out, because not everybody gets this. This is not just Bitcoin. There's Bitcoin, but you have all kinds of things. You have ETH or Ethereum, you have Litecoin, you got Bitcoin Cash, and then you have these penny cryptos. You have these, they're not really penny cryptos, but they are kind of like these small cryptos, kind of like penny stocks people have, it's somewhat similar to that. So. You also have the protocols, which is the blockchain side of the thing. Just think of it this way. I'll just say this simple. Who wants to get in? You might think this is late. You might say, well, Bitcoin's already as high as it's going to go. People were saying that was at 4,000. They're saying that 8,000. This is not just about, by the way, day trading or something like that. Although some people do day trade. Uh, this is literally about you learning from the people that are training me. So if you want to learn, I try to learn from the best. If you want to try to reach out to these people and have them personally mentor you, good luck. Brock Pierce is the, one of the most in-demand people. He, taught, he teaches lesson one. So like I said, the quality of your game is by the quality of your teachers. That's how the game goes. That's how the game goes. So I'm going to put a link. 
you click the link if you're on my website it's either here or it's somewhere on the sides if you're on YouTube you can click the link in the title or description Twitter it's in the title Instagram it's right there pinned it's a comment and Facebook it's right there on the uh, title if you don't see it for some reason you can also go here this is pretty simple you just go to Ty Lopez dot com slash Bitcoin doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter soon I'll be accepting Bitcoin I know it's stupid of me that I don't accept it now let's talk about the price for a second because that's important so someone said what about pump and dump this is not about pump and dump anything so tylopez.com slash Bitcoin you need to go to that special uh, URL or you can use the one have you ever refunded money to your students of course you know, my online programs, UCLA is right down the street from me. 20, 30,000 students go through per year. I probably, now it's not apples to apples, obviously, but my online programs, hundreds, maybe about 200,000 people have gone through them in about 100,000 people a year, more than almost any university. So it's online. It's not a university. You don't get a diploma. If you need a piece of paper, I have a college dropout. So I'm not going to hand out what I don't even have. What I can tell you is I'm going to equip you with real world stuff that I'm using on a case a day by day basis. Okay? Someone said, why don't you accept Bitcoin? Soon we will. We're installing BitPay. Um, so if you if you go to UCLA, you're gonna pay 10 grand, depending if you have a scholarship, partial scholarship. Let's say, you know, that's what a bachelor's one year is. More than that, but let's just go round numbers. Community college in LA is a thousand bucks. That's community college. So I decided to do it less than that. You can get in. I know some of you maybe don't have a ton of money. I even put a payment plan option in. So you can get in for <laughs> under $200. So we have a 197 times four pay option if you want. Or we have, if you want to pay one time and save a little bit of money. Most people choose the one pay. It's six ninety seven, one payment. So you choose. If you don't have much, uh, the, all of it, you can just do it over time, kind of like you know, a little payment plan. Some of you don't have the money for that. That's fine. You can try to. You can piece together on your own the information all over the internet. I would just warn you about one thing. There's a ton of bad information out there. The reason that I spent $400,000 this year traveling around, bringing people in, going to the top experts is because I don't like to learn the wrong thing. There's nothing, that already happened to me in the school system. I went through the public school system. I graduated 18 years old and realized I knew nothing about life. I learned from teachers that weren't teaching me the right thing in the right way. So, you know, this is under 200 bucks. For some of you, if you can't afford that, like I said, you know, you can come around, you can do it, try to do it on your own. For those of you in it, it's badass. We're already getting testimonials. I only launched this test group like 10, maybe two weeks ago. So I'm going to read the name of people getting in the test group right now. So if you go to tylopez.com slash Bitcoin, or you can click the links there or the button on the page. Here we go. We have first person that I saw. There's more in Illinois. Hamdam, I guess that's how you pronounce your name. Hamdan, welcome to the group. Let's see here. Steven Waihiko, Waichiko, welcome to the group in Texas. It sounds like you're from Texas with that name. Waihiko. Dylan Rewalk, Rewalk, welcome to the group from Nebraska. Oh, he's on Instagram Live. What's up, Dylan? I guess it's Dylan. I was calling it Dylan. My bad. <laughs> well, it's spelled not like Dylan. It's D-Y-L-L-O-N. So I'll be reading off the name of some of the people. Okay, Fernando, I see your card didn't go through. If you're from another country, by the way, this works at all. If, no matter how old you are, how young you are, you can still learn this stuff. It's kind of cool because uh, crypto is going to change the world. Bitcoin is going to change the world because it's going to make money equal. The U.S. won't be able to... The Federal Reserve, a few people can't manipulate the market because this is a global currency. Somebody said, I, I've made eight grand with, a, oh, this is cool. 
Jose, oh man, Jose Guillen. I made 8K with my 2K investment I started a month ago. Now I wanna warn you, all investments can go up and down. So don't put money in Bitcoin thinking that the things never can go down. It, any, any investment can go up or down. Don't put money that you don't have. Do not take money from your life savings. Do not take money from you know your, your kids <laughs> school allowance or whatever like that. Like look, the thing is invest what you can afford to invest and disposable income is the only thing you should invest. Meaning disposable, you don't have to have it because you need really in the long term, we'll talk some about how to trade, but you can also buy and hold. Jeremy Gardner basically got into Ethereum at 90 cents. And he's never sold a pen, he never sold any of it. And now it's at what, seven, eight hundred bucks? What is it at today? For those of you who don't know, we're talking about Preve, a place you can check the coin costs, uh, the coin prices. So here we go. You can see simply there what Bitcoin is at. Let me pull up one thing real quick for you guys. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, ETH is at 786, and he got in at 90 cents. That's <laughs> insane. Basically, that means for him, buy and hold. But remember, it took years, and that might not happen again. That might be a one-time thing. You have to learn how to understand volatility. We'll be talking about that. You gotta understand how to balance your portfolio. Even though it's not a stock market portfolio, you can still call it your holdings. I was talking to one of my friends who's one of the big crypto people out there, a co-founder, worth, I, I would guess he's worth about three to $500 million, half a billion. And he was just telling me, he's like, look, you gotta rebalance your portfolio. And so some of you, as Bitcoin gets higher or the price of ether goes up, you need to know, and we'll be talking about that in. I've got one of the top traders teaching in there, William. He actually ran the, built the trading desk for science, built it for Brock. Blockchain capital, like we got good people in there. Good people, smart people in this game. So, somebody just sent me, Ty, I have the cash, I wanna get in. What is this? <laughs> My brother's so bummed. because I, we told one of the lessons in the class was about this thing called Qtum, uh, OMG, Qtum, Stellar, we talked about, and then it doubled and tripled, it was funny. Okay, um, overnight, by the way. Now that, again, I'm not promising you if you go in this program, you're gonna double or triple your money. No one can promise you that. Anybody who promises you that is a scam artist. This ain't a scam. I, this is who the people are teaching me. You wanna learn with me? You wanna go through eight weeks? You wanna learn about this game or you wanna be slow to the game? You know, somebody said Bitcoin. Oh, <laughs> people are always worried about. One thing you'll learn is don't always look at the price. Don't always look at the price, my friend. Someone said, what if Bitcoin goes down in price? Boy, I'll be excited. If Bitcoin goes down in price, my goal, my dream is for Bitcoin to go down to $1. Not really, but that'd be kind of cool. I could, there's only gonna be 21 million coins in existence. So if you owned all, now you wouldn't wanna own, own all of them per se, cause there wouldn't be an active retrading community. You know, you need some trading going on, you need volume. But what are the Winklevoss guy, the two brothers from Facebook, they say Mark Zuckerberg stole Facebook from them. So they took $70 million that they were paid out in a settlement and uh, they basically put it all in Bitcoin. And it's worth, I think it's 1.2, 1.2 billion. That wasn't a bad investment. What do you think of that, Adrian? I'll take that investment. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Thoughts on Germany. Did something just happen in Germany? No, I, yeah, they didn't put, yeah, okay, you're right. I, I thought they put a lot of it. Yeah, I guess they wouldn't have been able to put 77 million in Bitcoin. They put a million in, and it's at a billion. I wasn't thinking. I'm a little tired today. Ooh, I had a long day. And attack. Someone said, love your work, Ty. What? There's an attack on Germany, like a, looks like a terrorist attack. Uh-oh. 
Well, that was bad. <clears throat> what happened to Germany? Fuck that. Christmas attack. Damn. Crazy world we live in. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Protect your finances. Learn how to make money. Learn how to preserve money. Learn how to invest money. That's I'm going to leave it as simple like that. Learn the simple game. Don't just worry about, oh, will Bitcoin go down? I hope it goes down. Why didn't they teach us in school that you don't just make money when things go up? In fact, you can't buy it when it goes up too high. Why would you want, do you want, when you want to go buy a house, do you want to sell your house? Let's say you bought your house for 100000 and you sell it for 200000 Ooh, and it keeps going up. By the time you find a new house, you're homeless because you can't buy a house at 300000 or 400000 Don't always worry about price volatility. Now, you don't want a, an asset to go to zero. If it goes to zero, it's game over. That occasionally happens. And that will happen in the game. But it, it's not so simple. And that's why my main goal by this program is for you to become sophisticated in this game. Someone's asked about Litecoin. We've been talking about Litecoin. You missed that. We talked about Ripple. We talked about Bitcoin Cash. We talked about good old Bitcoin. We talked about the smaller stuff. We talked about the REP, the Augur coin. We talked about Tron. Mentioned a little bit about Stellar. Um, IOTA. There's so much out there. It's a fun game. This is going to be a fun eight weeks for a lot of you who get in the program. Let me just uh, read some more names. I'll take a few more questions and I got to go. I got to go do some other stuff today. There we go. Jer Isles. Welcome to the group. He's in California. Yeah. So I'm going to keep this up for 44 more minutes if you want to get in. 44 minutes if you want to get in. Um, if not, that's fine. That is fine with me. Jamie Duran, welcome to the group. Where are you from? On YouTube, live, New York. Awesome. Fernando, I see you trying to pay there. The car's not going through. Easy answer. You'll get an automated evil from my website. Reply to it. My team can call you and uh, try to get you a different card or PayPal or something. Adolfo Carrillo. Welcome to the group. Andrew Miller oh, uploaded a picture. You know what I love about this? It's like equal opportunity. Andrew looks young. Texas, welcome to the group. Celeste Richman, welcome to the group. She did the one payment option on Instagram Live. Awesome. Uh, now, one thing I was gonna say. So. The way things move, assets, if it moves up, if it moves down, <clears throat> it's not the end of the deal. It's the only end of the game. You only lose money when you sell. So believe in, understand what you're putting money into. Don't ever put more money than you can afford to lose. Understand long-term holding. So yeah. Can you pay in Bitcoin? I will have that very soon. Where to store your coins. We just talked about how to put them in an offline wallet, a paper wallet, it's called. Some people call it cold storage. There's lots of names. There's different ways you can do it. <clears throat> Vincent, it depends on utility. Yeah, the market cap's crazy. You can also call my office, 1-800-604-2587. Yeah. Ty, there's a lot of people jealous of you. <laughs> I don't know. All right, what else do we got? Steam is the next $100 coin. We talked about Steam. We talked about that. We talked about IOTA. We talked about Ripple. Somebody said, I already know it's going down with coconut curry. What is that? <laughs> ah, these are crazy. I made a hundred, man, I had a friend the other day who was trading. He made $4.5 million profit in one day. Crazy. Now that is not typical. Do not be like Ty told me I can make 4.5 million. He probably had a, a billion or two invest. I mean a million or two invested. I'm not sure exactly, but remember, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. Basically, 
you and I already been scammed by the school system. You probably weren't equipped with anything you need to know. Take back your education. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Take back your education. Neo, somebody said. We talked about that. We talked about a, 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 a competitor to Neo. Cued him. So that thing's tripled since I think we mentioned it. it's crazy. Crazy. Ryan Pereira, my man, Ty. I'm in your social media marketing agency program. Great, thank you. I got another, I got other test groups I built. This Bitcoin one is one of other, you know multiple ones. The social media marketing agency, 28,000 people went th through that this year. It's crazy how many success stories I get. It's crazy. That's why I'm just like, why are people still suspicious of learning from places besides public school? Like, really, have you been scammed? so bad that you can't imagine any education like hello welcome to planet earth you really want to get your education just from universities and public schools i think private schools are better than public schools my ass the whole system runs on the incorrect formula of not bringing in the people who actually did it to teach you you really want to learn brazilian jiu-jitsu or karate or boxing from somebody who never boxed that's your plan you really want to learn how to lift weights by some fat person? No offense to fat people. You want to learn how to make money from somebody who sits in a room and is a professor? Well, you can learn psychology from a professor. You can learn esoteric Mesopotamian history. You can learn what happened in the French Revolution. But I wouldn't trust my money-making education. I have professors who are friends of mine. They're very intelligent. Never ask them for financial advice. Unless they're a financial professor, and even then, I tend to just find, you know, Mark Cuban sat right there on the chair. I was talking to him about business for seven hours here at my house. We recorded about 40 minutes of it. Another five or six hours, I'm just sitting there talking to him. That's how I learn. You do how you want to learn. I learn how I want to learn. Proof's in the pudding. I've tried both ways. I've tried the school system. It's fine if you want to become a doctor, if you want to become an accountant, go for it. I'm not anti-professors or teachers. I'm more anti a system that doesn't match us up correctly so um you know it doesn't make no sense that you learn geometry but not how to do your taxes or how to invest in real estate no one's talking about crypto. you think any kids in school are being taught about cryptocurrency or how to start a business i just recorded a real estate test group with a kid who's uh 20 years old not even 21 yet and he made $105,000 this month profit net flipping real estate, wholesaling contracts. <clears throat> He's 20. Like, I guess he could go sit in a room and only learn about, it's okay to learn about history. I read history every day, but it's not the only way I learn. Diaz Gustavo, you're incredible. We can work together. I'd like to be your partner to my company in Brazil. Tudo bem. I love Brazil. I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so I, I have a lot of Brazilians around me. Uh, what's the difference between Bitcoin and crypto? It's the same thing. We changed the name from Academy to Mastermind. I like Mastermind. It sounds more crypto-ish. Someone said the Steph Curry coin. <laughs> Would you teach homeless people about real estate? Man, there was a guy. I got cool stories about people that used to be homeless that went through my programs that just came up to me at conference and were like, dude, I had a guy the first time, this was about 2015 probably in New York, I did a conference, kid came up to me and said, I want you to know one year ago, uh, I was homeless in Mexico City and now I own real estate, I own, he owned a nightclub or something in, um, in uh, whatchamacallit, New York City. And uh, I was like, he's like, dude, I'm forever thankful. I had a program called the 67 Steps he said it helped them out. So the, the name of the game is, look, I can't take credit for helping people. You got to help yourself. And if you can get a, a hand here or there, giving you some insight, it matters. I had five mentors before I was 25 years old. That helped me so much in business. So much. <laughs> Thoughts on the botched Bitcoin Cash launch on Coinbase. Just remember, Coinbase is just growing insanely fast, and yeah. Should I invest in Bitcoin or trade? I mean, I tend to be somebody, look, I had William Duplass here, he loves to trade, he's trading. These guys, I know traders making 100 grand a week, they're trading, they're trading. And that's a separate thing. You should, If you wanna trade, you can learn to trade. It's not appropriate for everybody. 
if you're not don't know what you're doing it's like should you play basketball well do you know how to play basketball no well then you probably shouldn't try to play professional basketball but if you know it and you understand the principles then maybe you can give it a try you know so i'm gonna put that link it's a button click the link if you're on my website you can click the links in the titles or you can just go to Ty Lopez. So you got, we're gonna keep this open 36 minutes. TyLopez.com slash Bitcoin. Sorry, if I don't read all of you that got in today. By the way, so when you click the button or go to the link, you're gonna be taken to a 256-bit SSL encrypted page. You click it, you enter your info. It's all, you'll see it's encrypted, it's safe. No one sees your credit card number. Then you're gonna get automatic access and you can start right now or tomorrow. You go through step by step, we've laid it all out. Make sure you add yourself to the private Facebook group. Ask questions in there, okay? We have an option if you wanna upgrade and get in the Telegram group, you can do that too. Dylan Bernier, welcome to the group. In Florida, David Shavaria on YouTube. Welcome to the group. Kenny Wynn in California. Welcome to the group. Oops, sorry. Amin Omar in, on Facebook. Welcome to the group. Augustine Kowal. Welcome to the group. Dylan. Oh, Dylan got in the upgrade too. Cool. Fernando, you finally got in. Fernando Acosta did the one payment option in Arizona. Welcome to the group. Luke Tatioka. That's a cool name. Wait, where is, let me look up. He's not from the US. For some reason, it only shows <clears throat> Doc Lock. Oh, he's in Vietnam. Welcome. I, is that how you pronounce it? Doc Lock? Piri Te Kanawa. Oh, Kanawa. In Australia. Queensland. Might go to Australia next year. I haven't been in a while. I love Australia, it's a cool place. So I'm headed off. I'm gonna leave this up, 34 minutes. Someone said, Ty, you're 67 steps. Help me. Someone said, hook me up with a job, Ty. <laughs> Ty, I love the qual caliber of people you were bringing on here. Thanks, Eugene. Jamie said, Ty, on $2,000 worth of Litecoin. I bought it when it was at 46. Now I'm making some decent money. Remember, one thing I want to teach you guys, pull your profits out so that even if the market goes up and down, you'll at least have your principal or maybe your principal from a little profit. Pull your principles out, principal out if you're risk averse, if you're a little bit scared. Pull, meaning leave in the profits if you want, or you can do like William does, which is leave in the principal and take out the profits. It depends different philosophies. Ty, have you bought Bitcoin? Yes. Ty, you're killing it with the guests. Thank you. So, yeah. We out. I will talk to you soon. I hope to see some of you in the private Facebook group in a little while. I'm going to post to the private Facebook group right now. This is only available to the people in the... Let me open it up. I got my little... I never use Facebook except for this. Okay, where do we go? Bitcoin Crypto Academy. Uh-oh. I got 25 announcements I need to. Damn. Let's just, I'm just going to record a little video. No, actually, I'm going to do it private because if I do this here, people will be like. So I'm gonna, If you want to see what I'm going to, I'm going to talk to them about some of the stuff they talk about here. I don't feel like doing this on a total public thing. It gets too controversial. So, <clears throat> see you guys soon. What's up everybody today? Make sure you check out the new lessons I'm about to put in there.